weekend where I'm working, where I, I can't go. But I know one thing about Hobby X is that it grows year on year and people absolutely love this event. They do, you know, because we lead very stressful lives, um, mm -hmm. not only in South Africa, but all over the world. And so an exhibition like Hobby X enables you to explore the creative side of, of your being. Mm. And also it just enables you to switch off from the day-to-day -day rut and to do something for fun. I mean, this event, this event has really become uh, an expo that's really at the heart of trends. It understands what the new hobbies are. It gives you insight into trends for the year. Yes. I mean, how do you manage to stay on top of hobbies? And I'm sure they're growing year on year. People are finding new ways to amuse themselves. You know what, the, the, a lot of the hobbies um, have been around for many, many years. So it's just different ways of expressing. Mm. And when you talk about trends, if we look at mosaics, now you go to Europe and you will see those beautiful churches with all the mosaic work done. Mm. That's how far back it goes. But today, people will incorporate mixed media into their mosaic. So they might add a little bit of beading. They might add um, crockery that they've broken and, and used the, in that way. So it's, it's a different way of expressing a craft that has been around for a very long time. I often find with, um, not just me, but I find with my inner circle, people that um, I spend time with, that we want to do hobbies, but we're not 100% sure what? what hobbies to do. Well, then we're not 100% sure if you want to have a hobby that costs you a lot of money, <laughs> like uh, do, maybe going for your pilot's license as a, as a hobby, yes, flying yes, planes absolutely. as a hobby, or whether we just want to sit around with the family and do scrapbooking. Yes. Well, that's why you should come to Hobby X, really, because we are portraying and showcasing a huge variety of hobbies and creative hobbies like crafts. So you will be able to, you talked about aeroplanes, the Experiment, Experimental Aircraft Association is there. These guys actually wow. build their own flying machines. But anything from beadwork, pewter work, um, making your own jewelry, using semi-precious stones, woodworking, carving, um, silicone and mold making, the, the, the variety is huge and, and, and you find that you have people from all walks of life um, that get involved in hobbies. So even gaming, electronic gaming, mm. board gaming, all of that is portrayed at Hobby X. So yes, some hobbies cost you a lot of money and will require many, many hours, but others are something quick that you can just do mm. with your friends and, and move on. What is the total value of the hobby um business, I mean the leisure business in that space. What, what is the industry, the, the proportional value of the industry? It's quite difficult to measure because obviously the businesses that are there and that mm. are trading don't necessarily want you to know what, what turnovers mm. they have. Um, but we have, it's, it's a significant platform and we find it's not only about fun. There are a lot of people that come to Hobby X, they pick up a, a hobby uh, let's talk about mosaicing again or jewelry making. They will do it for fun, but when times are tough, they turn to mm, that hobby a, as income. Exactly. So it's difficult to measure because you've got all these informal um, industries going on around the exhibition as well. Mm. But it's significant, it, it, and it employs a lot of people. As and well. we often underestimate the value that it does bring from an employment perspective. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at Hobby X, the amount of, and, and some of these, uh, funny enough, some of these businesses are intergenerational. They've been handed yes. from father to son to families. Yes. And you know what we also find is a lot of, of, of um, businesses have started up with the, the wife has started a hobby and she's having great fun. The husband has been successfully employed and let her play, but suddenly he's retrenched. And now yeah. he looks at the, her, her hobby and he, he brings the business knowledge that she perhaps didn't have and he turns the business around and it suddenly becomes uh, their main mm. way of earning a living. So yeah, the impact is quite significant. Gloria, in terms of Hobby X, it's been around for a long time now. What is the, the representation from across the globe? Are we seeing more visitors from other countries coming to Hobby yes. X? Yes, look, it is the main exhibition of materials and equipment for hobbies and crafts in the whole of Southern Africa, possibly in the whole of Africa. Um, so yes, we target visitors from all the neighboring countries, a lot of the Indian Ocean Islands, um, also send visitors to come. That's the, the trade component. They come to do business. They come mm. to source products, learn new ideas or, or learn new techniques, take them back to their, to their countries and develop it that way. Um, we also have um, 
a few visitors that come from overseas, from Europe and America, but those are fewer, I must be honest. Mm. Um, and then from a consumer point of view, you have everybody coming from all over South Africa just to get inspiration and new ideas, new techniques, new products, mm. often new uses for existing products. Um, very inspiring. Like, sounds exciting. Quickly, uh, I want to find out more website. Your website is? It's uh, www.hobby-x.co.za. As simple as that. And it's you can as just go into the that. website, www.hobbyhyphenx.co.za. Go and find out more about this exciting event. We were talking to the director of Expo Trends, that's Gloria Bastos, showing a, an event that has to be on your calendar. If you don't know what you're going to do over a weekend, you need some ideas, maybe something to do with the family, this is absolutely perfect for you. If you've been there, share your thoughts on with us. Morning Live at SABC. That's here today. We're going to ad break. You don't go anywhere.